artists' right to distribute. When media in Australia uses works licensed with a Creative Commons attribution license, the media is given no rebate by the rights organisation. My view is that if commercial media did get a reduction when they used open content, that the market would be more efficient. More local self-published content would be used and publishers might take their ears out of their pockets. My understanding is that commercial media in Australia pays for the use of much of their content this way. Media is issued with a blanket license to use any content they choose and provides details of what they use to the rights organisations. Users pay a fee that is distributed via the rights organisations to the publishers and artists that created that content. Things are different in the US. In the US, artists are able to deal directly with media and license content as they choose and remain members of a rights organisation. This means the Creative Commons attribution licenses are able to be incorporated into the media in the US with some success. Different moral rights apply to content in different countries. No glove fits all, yet the net crosses many boundaries. These double standards give the US media the ability to steamroll its content globally. Big name acts like Madonna take much of the media's attention. Are feet getting cold as a result of overexposure of these acts? Do they create the best content? Rights organisations provide content at one price. This creates conditions where both commercial and non-commercial media shall most likely always use content owned by a publisher rather than that of a self-publisher. Almost all artists associated with rights organisations are self-publishing artists. Most artists that can create a song and sing that song in a public place join a rights organisation. Why? I reckon it's because of the live performance royalties received when they perform a song. Rights organisations create conditions where artists are encouraged to create content that is similar to content already published. Woody Guthrie wrote the following message in the 1930s. This song is copyrighted in US under seal of copyright 154085 for a period of 28 years and anybody caught singing it without our permission will be mighty good friends of ours because we don't give a damn. Publish it, write it, sing it, swing it, yodel it. We wrote it. That's all we wanted to do.